my job. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. teach my buddy Jonathan as I teach you guys how to repot a lily. The number one problem, I've already mentioned it earlier, is people with their root bow containers. Just so you know, these are three month old plants. You can see already the size of them. And they, they came from Florida, so they use a lot of sandy soil. We're gonna repot these in the Aquascape planting media, which has sand in it, but not all sand. It's got uh, gravel in it. It's got nice Illinois dark soil. So Jonathan, you, know, you do this, hold this buddy. I'm just pulling this out now. It's not going to be root bound, it's only three months old, but it will be. It's already, you can already see, the roots are already starting to get root bound there. So, oh, okay, it was the sand on the top, that makes more sense. What we're going to do, break up a little bit of the lilies. Oh, I have fertilizer tabs. Don't do what I do the first time, do what I do the second time and tell you. We're going to put three fertilizer tabs on the bottom before we load it up. And we're going to put three fertilizer tabs directly into. I am going to fertilize these plants once a month for basically the whole summer. So three fertilizer tabs on the bottom, three fertilizer tabs directly in. Now look at all this extra container we have here in the Aquascape Aquatic Lily Planter. So Jonathan, now pour this in. Well, you're a college student, you should be able to figure that out. Tropical lilies need to be fertilized more and they also need bigger containers. The number one problem, as I said earlier, is people having their plants in too small of pots and not enough soil. Annuals need to be replanted every single year with new potting soil. And look at this, we still need more. Actually, this is not bad. One of these big ones, that's good enough because what we're gonna do here. Oh, we pour the rest. But there's more here. Yep. Good, that's not bad. The way that's planted right there. You know why? Because we're gonna put the rest of this with gravel. But this is the right size container for a tropical. And if you want good uh, hardies, the same size container. And once a year, put in new soil. Either a big bag, or if it's just a small one, a smaller bag of this stuff. Why? That's the growing medium. So that's the process I need you to do. These are the ones that I'm keeping as my plants for the front pond at Aqualand. But we're replanting them from these pots, which is still a pretty big pot that they were growing out, into a 14 inch by seven inch. And I like the fabric pots too, because they kind of contour it to the side of the pond. Plant tabs is just a commercial product. You can get them from us, you can get them online. I will fertilize a hardy lily maybe two times a uh, season. I will fertilize a tropical maybe four or five times. May, June, July, August, September. Because the nutrients that need to grow. A tropical lily, if you have it in good condition in the sun, could get 14 feet across. The lily leaves will get up to 16 inches, some of them, on, a, on the tropicals. But the number one thing that I see, and I've kind of said this again and again, is when I go visit people's ponds, I do not see the plants properly taken care of. Very rarely are they in the right size container, very rarely are they being fertilized, and if they're not being transplanted with new soil every single year, they're not gonna get nearly the kind of growth that you want. So we're gonna put a 10 lilies in the front pond here, and I'm gonna probably leave another dozen in the trough ups up there for uh, display, and then uh, 130 you know, plants or so I'm gonna sell to my customers probably around 100 to 125 bucks a piece. It's an annual, that's a lot of money to pay for an annual, but it will come back 10 fold in beauty because tropical you cannot be tropical so those were the tips of the day for the tropical lilies i'll put a link down below so that you can see more stuff on water lilies but uh, you ready to do this buddy yes, sir thank you for your day of indentured servitude
taking over the Team Aquascape vlog for uh, Brian right now. Frank, did you actually see Brian? Was he here? Yeah. Did you get within seven feet of him? No. Okay, so Brian calls me up. Of course, he's got COVID. He was supposed to finish this. Of course, he's got COVID. So we got our certified Aquascape contractor right here from Frankfurt. Where do you guys live? Frankfurt, Illinois. Frankfurt. These guys are volunteering to come and help Aquascape finish the landscaping. They're gonna put in crushed granite up here. They're gonna put a backdrop here. I'm super excited about this because this is my tropical lily trough. Look at how gorgeous this looks. Most of these plants are gonna get sold this weekend for water garden weekend, but I'm gonna keep a few specimens back and this is gonna be where they grow out and live and inspire people to live the Aquascape lifestyle in a beautiful, kind of like an arboretum setting right when you pull into the office here. So hey, thanks guys for helping out on a rainy day. Get better, Brian, and uh, I love my job. So we are officially kicking off our spring sale, which kind of feels like the start to our season. Even though we've been doing spring cleanouts for almost 10 weeks, I was just talking to a, one of our VIP customers and this really feels like the start of the marathon that we sprint every single year. I love this time of year. The plants are in, the fish are in. We get to see all of our customers and reconnect with them. The cool thing about our VIP event is this, it's really a, an appreciation for our customers. These are our platinum and our diamond maintenance package customers. Those are the people that we service their ponds weekly, bi-weekly. We're in front of them all the time. We just want to say thank you to them, but it's also a thank you to the customers that we have worked with installing water features for them the last year. So it's an invite only event. We open it up specifically for them just to say thank you and to get them first dibs and first crack at all of the great stuff that we have. I love it because the energy here is totally hype. We have so much good stuff. The thing that's really cool this year is we have a luau theme. So, which I didn't know about, I should be wearing my lei uh, or have a flower in my my hair so I'm kind of missing the boat on that but everybody here in the office did a great job teaming up and putting that together the hors d'oeuvres the cocktails the lays and just the incredible product selection that we have really is going to set the stage for what's going to be an awesome weekend I can't wait for it so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode this is going to be a fun time let's go
Neptune's crown. Gotta make sure I'm brushing up. So I'm an authority on pond plants today. <laughs> of spring sale. It's like Black Friday for pond people. This is absolutely crazy. We haven't seen this kind of turnout since pre-pandemic. This is so awesome. The smiles, the anticipation on all their faces. It's going to be a great day. It's a madhouse in here. Thank God we have so many of our teammates ready to help and serve these people. It's gonna be an awesome day. Come on, let's go have some fun. guys we're out here in the fish retailing area we're selling some fish bagging some fish up it's hectic as heck so right now as you can see we're in the full swing of things bagging fish a few things that we're asking is how far they're going and we like to ask that question because that dictates how much air we put inside that bag if they're going farther distances we like putting less water and more air in there and that gives the fish some more time to kind of mellow out and not be so stressed while going to the commute to the, to the pond so we have a full day ahead of us right now chris is over doing plants right now so i don't know if you guys want to go check out what he's doing over there and see how busy he is as you you can see we're over here we're staying busy and we have our hands full Bananas, bananas, that's what it is out here. It is absolutely bananas. I am like, I'm just blown away at the attendance this morning. I mean, I think maybe the rain last night and then the sun was shining this morning brought a lot of people in and ready to go. I think everybody's motivated to get out and do some work in their ponds. Had a lot of great questions. Awesome seeing everybody buzzing around, full carts. Just really, really exciting. We gotta watch out. One thing I've learned is you don't get in front of somebody with a cart full of stuff because they're on a mission. It's neat because people are bringing their families in 
Houston, but then you see retired couples that are spending the day out here too. And you can just tell that everybody's here for the same reason and they love their water features. And I think that's just really, really neat. A big portion of my morning will be spent over here in the aquatic plants. You know, it's, it's all of the Edgewater stuff. You know, there's submerged plants over here. We do have some lotuses. I get a little bit of FOMO standing over here when I know the lily section is over there. I would expect that lily trap is empty by the end of the weekend, I guarantee it. So, how are you? So, you know, Brian gets COVID on the busiest day of the year for the retail store that he's kind of manages. But this is what it is, it's all hands on deck, including my son right there, who is helping people with their fish. He grew up with this stuff, he thinks it's no big deal. I have never been inside if I was a kid growing up with what I had. It's fun for me to meet so many of our customers that come in and just love their ponds. Fun to show off my animals. If I could do Water Garden Weekend, our spring sale every single day of the year, I don't think I would ever leave because I just love talking to people about this hobby. Which is why I do my YouTube channel so that I can share my passion for turtles, fish, frogs, and this lifestyle. If you're interested in living this lifestyle too, check out the links below to my channel so you can see what people all over the world are doing living the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job. Round one, fight! We have waterfalls from the roof. Things are slowing down just a little bit. So I think we can go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. People are walking out of here with tons of aquascape product, tons of plants, as well as tons and tons of fish, making a lot of very, very, very happy customers. But they are not the only happy ones. I am thrilled because like I said earlier in the video, this is like the beginning to our season for us. It really feels like us shooting out of the starting blocks. We cannot wait for the rest of the season, find out what it holds and some of the incredible projects that we have going. As always, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to tell your friends and maybe your friends' friends and maybe your friends' enemies about this episode so that they can get tuned in to everything that Team Aquascape has to offer. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>